This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Hey everyone, Michelle Fern here. Welcome to Best Pets for Pets. It's our annual Valentine's Day show. So normally on my Valentine's Day show, we chit and chat a little bit about Valentine's products, but I have some fun stats for you too. So we're going to take a short break for our sponsor and we'll be right back. Here's an alarming statistic. More than two-thirds of dogs and cats have oral health disease by the age of three, and one of the indicators is bad breath. Do your pets have a healthy mouth? Do you cringe when it's time for a kiss or a snuggle? Let's get to the cause. Harmful bacteria in their mouth. And bad breath is just the start. The bad bacteria cause tartar and oral disease, which can lead to serious overall health problems. It's critical to make sure your pet's oral health is the best it can be, as good dental health is key to optimizing their overall health. Now, good news! It's easy and affordable to improve their oral health with ProBiora Pet. Just one scoop of this dental care probiotic mixed into their food daily floods the mouth with positive bacteria, which crowds out the bad. This means better oral health and fresher breath. Probiora Pet is an all-natural dental care probiotic. It's odor and taste-free, so your pets will still enjoy their chow. We want to keep your pets healthy. During National Pet Oral Health Month, our listeners can save 10%. Go to ProBiorapet.com and use PLR10 at checkout. That's ProBiorapet.com. Use PLR10 at checkout to save 10%. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back, everyone. So, hey, it's our annual Valentine's Day show here on Best Bets for Pets. And normally I talk about some of my favorite products that you can give to your fur babe. But today I want to talk about some stats first. You know, I really love stats. Didn't love it in college, but I really love stats. I think they're so much fun and they really, really show, you know, some interesting facts. And today, of course, we're talking about some stats about pets and how much we love our pets. Now, the first stats I'm going to share with you, and they're from Healthy Paws Insurance. This survey was among their policyholders and it was for dogs and cats. So first question um, that I thought was interesting is how many of you all pet parents plan to give your fur babes a Valentine's Day gift? You know, 42% of you said yes. 32% said no. And 26% said maybe. So, you know, if you look at that, over half the amount of people surveyed are likely to give their pets a Valentine's Day gift. So Valentine's Day is not only important for you and your partner, you know, and of course, we've heard about Galentines for you and your gal pals, or I don't know if there's Valentines for boy pals. I don't know how that works, but, you know, maybe there should one for you and your fur babe, you know, Valentine's. I don't know what you'd call it, but to go on with the survey from um, Healthy Paws Insurance. A lot of us think as our pets as part of the family. I mean, we count them. We have those little stickers that go on the back of our cars that, you know, show the family with the little stick figures. And there's always little doggy or cat if there's dogs or cats and are part of the family. Some just have dogs or cats, which might be nice. (laughs) My family right now is just dogs and cats. Kids are older. So, How many of the people surveyed consider their pets or their fur babes part of the family? 94%. I mean, that's huge. I actually think we should get a tax write-off for our fur babes. That would be nice, right? But they don't count yet. Okay. Now, you know how so many of us do baby talk to our pets or chit-chat to our pets? So, they asked, you know, how uh, the question, how often do you talk to your pet? 88% said all of the time. Wow. 
And I thought I was one of the only nuts that was out there chit-chatting to my uh, cat, expecting, you know, a little meow here and there. But of course, obviously not an answer or, hey, that would be wild. And of course, this is one of the, you know, classic questions, one thing we all want to know about, how many celebrate their pet's birthday? And 41% said yes every year. I'm one of those. I always celebrated Zeus's birthday. And, you know, he passed in August 2020. He lived just past his last birthday, which which I was so grateful I got to celebrate the last one. All right. So overall, Healthy Paws Insurance did a pet parents classification. They considered 5% of all of their, you know, people surveyed are pretty much no nonsense pet parents. 9%, you and your pets are like BFFs. And a whopping 85% said you and your pets are gaga over each other. You are just meant to be. You love your pet. You do anything for your pet. And there it is. So, I have one more set of a few stats that I really, really want to share with you. Okay, this was from another insurance company, Pet First Insurance, did a survey of their policyholders, and they actually asked (laughs) a really cool question. What percentage of the pet parents would prefer to snuggle with their pets? I guess over, you know, their partners or what have you. 71% said they would prefer to snuggle with their pets. 10% said with their partners and 19% said undecided. Now I'm reading into this a little bit and I'm not sure if, you know, sometimes you snuggle with your human partner and there's, you know, a leg on top, you know, arm on top, you know, it's just not that comfortable. Whereas When your little dog is snuggling with you, they often snuggle like in the crook of your leg if you're a side sleeper. So maybe that's part of it. Otherwise, I don't know, maybe some people need better partners. So, hey, we're going to take a quick break and we will be right back to talk about some great gifts for your fur babe. We'll be right back. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back. Right after we kibble a little with our sponsors. Hey everyone, Michelle Fern here. Is your dog living with joint discomfort? Well, Antonol is a natural, super potent blend of marine lipid oils that has helped over 2 million pets worldwide. And Antonol is the only joint supplement for pets with 20 published peer review studies globally. Start your dog's mobility makeover at Antonol.com. And if it's your first time buying Antonol, we have a special starter kit offer to make your first purchase easy. Antonol.com. Free shipping on your first order with a free bonus pack for the first 15 days to give optimal results and a 100% money back guarantee. Antonol.com. Keep happiness in motion. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to Best Bets for Pets Valentine's Day episode. So we talked about in the first half different stats, you know, about Valentine's Day and how much we're so in love with our pets. And I know we're heard globally all over the world. And, you know, most of these stats are for the U.S., but I think they're, for the most part, pretty true for probably most of the world. You know, we really love our pets. So, hey, here in the U.S., we celebrate Valentine's Day on February 14th. Um, Yeah, sometimes it seems a little commercialized and what have you, but it's a special day. And, you know, your pets might know that it's that special day. So I wanted to share some great gifts that you can consider giving your for babe, whether it's a dog or a cat. And, you know, I know this is going to be airing on Valentine's Day, but hey, your dog's not going to know if it's two days after, or three days after, or a week after. I give gifts all year long, whether it's to humans or fur babes. That's just how I roll. So, hey, here's some great gifts for your dogs. Harry Barker has some amazing products. I love the name Harry Barker. 
you know, like a Barker. So cute. They're available on Amazon. And I'm going to share with you some of my favorites. All right. It's February. It's chilly. Even where I am in South Florida, it's chilly, which means it's 60 degrees. I'm sorry, but, you know, that's cold for us. They have a gorgeous, gorgeous, chunky knit sweater. It starts at only $22, which is a super value. They also have a really adorable slipper chew toy. It has a little bit of a leopard print, which shout out to my niece, Lexi. Anything with a leopard print gets her happy. And that would probably make a great toy for blue. You know, just saying. What I love about it is this slipper chew toy is made from recycled plastic bottles. How great is that? And it's only $14. It is really cute. And last but not least, this bed is amazing. It's called the Cabin Plain Cuddler Bed. It's very fluffy. Nikki loves it. He got kind of mad when some of the cats joined him in the bed because it's quite big. It's a nice size bed. It's machine washable with the cotton cover. You just unzip it, throw it in the wash. It's a very classic plaid design. It's kind of in a pink and red, so it, it works nice for Valentine's Day. And it's very affordable at $70. So those are toys from and toys in bed and sweater from Harry Barker, and that's available on Amazon. Let me tell you about some of my favorite cat gifts. I love the cat cave. I did a show on this product quite a while ago. They're at catcaveco.com. These are like little caves and you can order them in different sizes. Of course, since Dennis is humongous, I had to order the biggest size. And Charlotte's pretty big too. Molly's getting there because of the next gift that I have to tell you about. So this is a nice size cave. It's made from high quality, very soft merino wool. It's hand washable. It comes in the most gorgeous colors. I like that it's very soft so that if you have to store it, it's easy to, you know, you can flatten it down a little bit and then it just, you know, puffs right up. So it's easy. It's very lightweight. So it's very movable, easy to move. It's beautiful. So it goes with almost any home decor. It's in a wide variety of colors. And again, it's at catcaveco.com. And, um, Here's another gift for cats that I think about over, this is my own stat, but I think over 90% of cats just go crazy for this. Cat it lickable treats. That's cat it, C-A-T-I-T, lickable treats. They have them on Chewy. The last price I saw was $17.99 for a pack of 30. And what these are, they're kind of like a long stick container that you snip. And there's a liquid treat inside and you just, we put ours in the fridge and give it to the cat right from the package. But let me tell you, the problem with that is now every time the refrigerator door is open or shut, there's a cat. Molly loves it the best. And then, then I would say Dennis. Charlotte is for some weird reason afraid of it. Charlotte's, she's a different kind of cat. And, um, but most cats, that's why I said 90% just love it, but beware your cat might love it so much that every time the fridge door opens, there's a cat. So, and you don't want to overdo it because even though these are pretty low in calories and the cat's just licking like a little bit, your cat will come to love it and you'll have a cat every time you open the fridge. So again, cat it, lickable treats. There's other brands out there. My cats seem to prefer cat it. So we stock up because, you know, you never know when they're going to be out of stock and Molly doesn't like it too much when she can't get her treat. Okay. And then, of course, one of the best things you can get for your cat is a cat tree. There's so many different types of cat trees, but cats just love it. And, you know, maybe it's time to look at the cat tree. If you have a cat tree, look at the one you have. Is it, you know, a little wobbly? Is it a little bit ripped up, seen better days? So full of fur that it would make, a, probably the fur would make a blanket and you just can't even imagine cleaning it because it's such a mess. Upgrade, get a new one, you know, consider one that has a um, couple different levels, obviously, if you have more than one cat. Or even if you just top the one in a couple different levels, it makes it a lot of fun for your cat. And also, while we're talking about cat trees and so forth, consider putting your cat tree near a window if it's possible. That way, 
your cat gets to climb, which they love, and they get to see, you know, what some people call cat TV, everything that's happening outdoors, you know, which that's just a lot of fun for our indoor cats when they can watch and see what's going on, whether it's a lizard, you know, that's what we have here. Anyway, South Florida, many lizards or fly in the wall or, hey, just some flowers or something. So consider that. Now, I'm going to talk about some great little toys for your cats that don't cost a thing. Here's one that I actually heard on Instagram and I haven't tried, but people have told me their cats love it. Take a piece of tape, probably packing tape because it's fairly wide, and tape it on your wall so that the wind will move it, whether it's near a fan or maybe near an air vent or something. And cats go nuts for that. Of course, obviously, make sure, you know, the paint isn't going to come off your wall with it. But tape on a wall, what does that cost? Like pennies? And cats are mesmerized by it. I haven't tried that yet. My guess is that Molly will rip it down in about two seconds. But I heard a lot of great things about it. Here's another thing. I know we're, I know everybody's today this are, is against plastic bags, but sometimes you get one from the store and you just have the plastic bag. So if you're not using it to pick up an accident in your house, you know, a number two or something, put it on the floor. Cats love playing with plastic bags. Just, I think it's the sound it makes on the floor and how they could move it around. They, they love it. Another great favorite, and this is for dogs too, boxes. Did you ever get boxes from a mail order? You know, say you mail ordered some cat food, dog food, treats, what have you, came in a huge box. Maybe you bought them present and they end up finding the box a little more fun than the present. Yep. (laughs) Both hands up. Happened to me, especially with cats. They freaking love boxes. I have no idea why. I think it's because... I also did a show on this a long time ago. It was a great book. Cats like to kind of pour themselves into things. And the show that I did was called Cats Are Liquid. And they are. They just like to pour themselves just into things. And I think they like the smaller boxes better, but they'll go in any kind of a box. I had a box that was like just I recently got from a shipment. It was like a long tube kind of box, but a large one. Molly just went back and forth in that thing. That was good for almost half a day. So shocked me. So I hope you enjoyed this part of the show. We talked about the different products and stuff you can get for your cats. I want to mention something else. You know, we're so fortunate to be able to, you know, have our cats that we've adopted and have them in our homes and be able to provide great toys for them, gifts for them. Our dogs too. We're so grateful. We should all be so grateful for that. But this year, maybe if you get something smaller as a Valentine's Day gift for your cat or dog, consider a donation to a shelter. It doesn't even have to be a financial donation. Many shelters will take maybe a couple cans of food or maybe you have some old towels. I know that shelters for cats especially love having old towels because they line the cages with them. If you can make a monetary donation, there are so many people that do TNR Rescue, especially on Instagram. You can find tons. Even a small donation does so much. If you think of how many people, you know, sent five bucks to one of the TNR people that they have on their Instagram, how wonderful would that be? So think of that as a great way to spend your Valentine. So, you know, it's always nice receiving, but I think it's even better giving. And uh, sometimes giving doesn't have to be in the conventional way of just giving a gift. Sometimes it's giving a gift to someone and it's almost anonymous and maybe that's the best way. So I want to thank you so much for listening to this episode of Best Bets for Pets. I want to thank my crew, my fur babe crew, Nikki and Dennis, Charlotte, Molly, Sammy and Jethro for, uh, you know, just making me happy and chilling me out when life's frustrations get to be a little too much. And especially thanks to everyone that's listening to Best Bets for Pets. I greatly appreciate you listening. It's such an honor to be able to do this show. And um, 
know that people are listening and, you know, it's just such an honor. So I appreciate you so much. And especially I want to thank my producer, Happy Valentine's Day, Mark Winter, for doing such a great job. He edits and produces our shows and does the engineering and does just such a wonderful job. So thank you. And hey, happy Valentine's Day to you and your fur babe. And keep listening. You never know what we're going to have on next. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.